rapper stood the test of time and stretches over more than four decades. One pioneer behind many classic albums does not always get the attention he deserves. Paul C, rest in peace. Let's start with Ultramagnetic MC's 1988 classic, Give the Drummer Some. When diving deeper into the credits on the backside of many classic hip hop albums, there's one name that connects all these artists together. Maybe mentioned in different ways, but always Paul. My name is Paul C. Paul C. Where, where are you from? Darlton, Queens. Darlton, Queens. So I had like a small setup, a drum machine, and, uh, and, <laughs> and we had made some cassettes. Right. And they sounded kind of funky. Everybody liked them. This is indie filmmaker Lindley Farley. Together with Paul C. and Stuart Rifkin, he formed the new wave group the Menda Lindley Roadshow. This is what he explains in Prit Kelsey's 2013 documentary, what the C actually stood for. Here's a funny thing, yeah. Paul didn't have a middle name. His name was Paul McCasty. He decided to call himself Paul Charles McCasty after Ray Charles. Now let's take a closer look at Give the Drama Some, one of those songs every true hip hop fan knows about. With a heavy dose of James Brown influences combined with the sound of Blue Note recording artist Dr. Lonnie Smith, the Doctor's fifth album release was Drives and contained the song Spinning Wheel, a treasure by itself, sampled over more than a hundred times but Paul C chopped it up so far he made it his own. From the song Give It Up or Turn It Loose. He used multiple small elements, but this is the most recognizable one. Now in the late 80s, hearing a hip hop album without the funky drums of Clyde Stopperfield was like eating mac and cheese without the cheese. It was unheard of, but Paul C used it only to uplift the chorus, which worked perfectly. But the most important and solid foundation to this composition comes from the soul jazz stylings of Deep Feliz Trio, doing their version of James Brown's There Was A Time. The groovy combo who hailed from Cincinnati, Ohio has released four different versions of these songs in total, but the instrumental version they recorded for Mr. James Brown's 1969 album Getting Down To It gave Paul C that true stereophonic sound, meaning the musical composition was mixed over two channels with multiple instruments playing on the left side while on the right only the drums producer Pete Rock who himself was no stranger to hip hop has stated in an interview with Dave Tompkins that he thought maybe Paul C knew somebody at Polygram Records who gave him the reels there is no way in the world that he could sample De Felice and take out the sounds but he did. And shout whack poetry. When you enjoy Task Neck Bites, don't forget to subscribe and like. 